Welcome to Joy Recapped, today I am gonna show you a 2006 thriller movie called, The Hills Have Eyes, spoilers ahead, relax and enjoy, the film starts with three men testing for radioactivity in the New Mexico desert. Out of nowhere, a ridiculous man hops into one of the men view, asking for help. Pluto, a freak distorted by atomic testing cuts one of the men and viciously hits him on the ground. The other two men are then immediately butchered and fastened to the rear of a vehicle, which is driven away. Ethel Carter, Kathleen Quinlan, and her retired police detective husband, Big Bob Carter, Ted Levine, are celebrating their silver wedding anniversary by traveling from Cleveland, Ohio to San Diego, California. Brenda, Emily DeRaven, the daughter, Bobby, Dan Bird, the son, the eldest daughter Lynn, Vanessa Shaw, her husband, Doug Bukowski, Aaron Stanford, their baby daughter Catherine. Maisie Camilleri Preziosi, and the German Shepherd's Beauty and Beast are all there. We see a mutant grab Bobby's red sweater from the car and flee away while Big Bob talks to the gas station manager. Bobby and Brenda leave the building, and Bobby enters a neighboring outhouse. He's urinating when he notices someone looking through the window at him. It was the same mutant who stole his red sweatshirt which was stolen from the car. The attendant tells Bob about a shortcut over the hills that is actually the secret trap after suspecting one of the family members has seen the contents of the carrier bag. After a few miles on the shortcut, a hidden spike belt punctures the tires, forcing the truck's wheels to burst, causing it to fall into a nearby ditch. Bob returns to the gas station in search of a tow truck, while Doug seeks assistance in the opposite direction. Meanwhile, someone is keeping an eye on the rest of the family through a pair of binoculars. Bobby follows Beauty into the hills when she suddenly runs off, where he eventually discovers her gutted body. Bobby rushes, terrified and distraught, but stumbles and falls, knocking himself unconscious. While her brother Goggle, Ezra Buzzington, chews on the dead dog, a young female mutant named Ruby, Laura Ortiz, who had stolen his sweater, comes and find him and is intrigued by him. Bob eventually arrives at the station and discovers the agitated gas station attendant, who kills himself by shooting himself in the head. Bob tries to flee from the site in his car, terrified. However, he gets attacked by mutant leader, Papa Jupiter, Billy Drago, and is taken away by Jupiter, along with Jupiter's eldest son, Lizard, Robert Joy, and Pluto, into neighboring mining caves. When Bobby wakes up, he returns to the trailer and keeps his family in the dark about Beauty's death. Lynn says we tried the CB and heard heavy breathing. Beast escapes his shackles and flees into the hills, where he discovers what's left of Beauty. Doug returns with a fishing rod, a baseball bat, and a teddy bear from the route he traveled, a dead end that terminated in a bomb crater filled with cars. Bobby is concerned about his father, who has not yet returned. Doug assures Bobby that if he does not back by midnight, they will search for him. Pluto gets into the trailer, finds Branda, and tries to rape her while they try to sleep. Bobby wakes up Lynn and Doug outside the trailer, telling them about the strangers in the hills and Beauty's death. Inside, Pluto restrains Brenda and keeps her from shouting. An explosion in the distance grabs their attention, when the others are about to find Pluto. Doug rushes into the trailer to get a fire extinguisher after discovering Bob has been tied to a tree and lit on fire, while Lizard slips inside unseen. Lizard notices Pluto's failed attempts to rape Brenda as everyone unwittingly leaves the vulnerable Brenda alone with the two dangerous males. He throws Pluto off and does it himself, enraged. As Lizard continues to rape Brenda, Pluto notices Catherine in her crib and observes her. Doug extinguishes the fire and frees Bob, who is already dead, while Lynn returns to the trailer to find out why Brenda is screaming and is greeted by Lizard, who is holding baby Catherine and Big Bob's gun, while Pluto is holding Brenda. Lizard disarms Lynn and threatens Catherine with a gun after she attacks him with a frying pan. He rips Lynn's blouse open and sucks the milk out of her breasts. Ethel comes in with a giant flat rock, intending to crush Lizard, but Pluto warns him. When Lizard sees her, he shoots her in the stomach. Lynn then stabs Lizard with a screwdriver, prompting Lizard to shoot her in the head. Brenda and Catherine are held hostage by Pluto and Lizard as they exit the trailer. Lizard tries to shoot Brenda as he hears Doug and Bobby arriving, but the gun is empty of bullets. Before escaping with Pluto, who still holds the baby, he tells Brenda that he would return for her. When Doug and Bobby return to the trailer, they find the bodies and realize Catherine has been kidnapped. Goggle, the mutant who murdered Beauty is watching the trailer through binoculars when Beast attacks and kills him. Doug starts off in search of their assailants the next morning, and Beast takes him through a tunnel filled with mining graves. When Doug emerges from the tunnel, he discovers an abandoned nuclear testing village and enters the house where Catherine is imprisoned, but is knocked out by Big Mama, Ivana Turchetto, whom he mistook for someone watching television. 
he later awakens in an icebox, which is where the mutants keep their victims' bodies. He becomes agitated and punches on the plastic cover, eventually loosening it. He resumes his search for Catherine, only to be interrupted by Big Brain, Desmond Askew, who tells him about the mutants, who were mutated by the fallout from the nuclear experiments, and then is assaulted by Pluto, who breaks through a door. Doug is able to fool him by pretending to cry after a fierce struggle in which he loses his ring and pinky on his left hand. Doug slams a screwdriver through his foot and the floor, pinning him down. Pluto laughs and becomes distracted for a little minute. He then takes a small American flag and shoves it down Pluto's throat, before finishing him out by driving his own axe blade into his head. Doug then confronts the mutant cyst, Gregory Nicotero, outside the house and kills him with Pluto's axe, chopping open his knee and knocking him over the roof of a car where he is axed in the back and eventually killed when Doug slams the pick end into his eye. Doug grabs his shotgun and walks away. Big Brain orders Lizard to execute Catherine, but Big Brain is assassinated by Beast. Lizard prepares to kill Catherine with a cleaver, but instead of Catherine, he finds a pig. Ruby has grabbed Catherine and run towards the hills. Lizard realizes this and starts chasing her, outraged by her deception. Doug spots Ruby on the hill and follows her. Ethel's body is stolen and dragged into the hills, and Bobby discovers Papa Jupiter devouring Ethel's heart at the trailer. Bobby is pursued by Jupiter to the trailer, where Brenda releases gas from the propane tanks as Bobby runs inside, a strip of matches attached to the sliding door behind him. Bobby ties the hand of Papa Jupiter to the window. Jupiter gets free from the bungee rope after he and Brenda have escaped, and opens the sliding door, striking the matches and igniting the gas inside the trailer, causing it to explode. Ruby is ready to return Catherine to Doug in the hills when Lizard attacks. Doug beats Lizard and then shoots him in the chest, neck, and shoulder. Ruby returns Catherine to Doug, who is unaware that Lizard has survived and has stood up. Ruby throws herself at Lizard, hurling them off a cliff, preventing Lizard from shooting Doug and Catherine while also sacrificing herself. Bobby and Brenda explore the wreckage of their trailer and discover Papa Jupiter, who is still alive but impaled. Brenda takes a pickaxe to the head of Papa Jupiter and murders him. Brenda then notices Doug with Catherine and Beast, and the quartet is reunited. A pair of nameless binoculars watches from the hills as they celebrate their apparent success.